all right welcome back everyone to the steel to stone channel so today we're going to be doing a mini performance test a shortened version of my performance test on these three knives that you see sitting here and the reason being is because a lot of people are hoping that spy 27 is going to have more strength and stability at the edge than some other stainless steels on the market so I figured I would take a few of the higher end steels that I have given that they're very similar in composition and hardness to SPY 27 and you know put them up against each other and see which one does the best so that's essentially why we're doing this just to see if it does have what people are hoping for that more strength at the edge or not so the Hogue Ritter <clears throat> is at 61 HRC, the Spy 27 is at 62 HRC, and the Bug Out is at 59 HRC. So, if anything, given the lower impact toughness of S30V and the lower hardness, I would honestly expect more damage from S30V during this than anything else, given the fact that... Uh, 20 CV and SPY 27 have both have a purported impact toughness score of about nine foot pounds and S30V is I think a six or something five or six and it's at a lower hardness I would expect it to do the worst and then we're starting out here with some 12 gauge speaker wire and I'll go ahead and tell you guys that they all pretty much handled this about the same um they all took a little bit of microchipping a little bit of doling nothing major maybe some light you know deformation and and microchipping but they all handled it relatively well if i have to pick a winner i would say it's the 20 cv because it was the only one that didn't hang up on the receipt paper after the test the other two blades did so I'm going to give 20 CV the win on that one. And then SPY 27, the one that you came here to see. Check it out in just a second. Then five cuts on each. I want to count them to make sure I did the, the right amount of cuts on each one. And then you can see it's got a, a little bit more microchipping there. And very similar to the 20CV, but a little bit worse and it actually caught on the receipt paper a little bit in comparison to the 20 CV so I'm gonna say that the spy 27 lost that battle and then moving on to the aluminum block here gonna do five tip stabs with each each blade and then do some cuts on the edge of it as well as some hits up against the corner of it so the bug out handled the tip stabs very well <clears throat> and then getting into the cuts here it's really hard to tell cutting the aluminum and hitting it up against it whether it's causing damage or just embedding aluminum into it so it started catching on the receipt paper because of that because of those cuts on the aluminum but really hard to distinguish whether it was damage or just embedded aluminum causing it to catch. And then here, it did cause some mild deformation hitting it up against the aluminum. So, <laughs> during this test, I think the S30V is the only one that really 
took any noticeable damage that I could tell. 20 CV handled the tip stabs beautifully and then cutting into it five cuts and see the aluminum embedded into it but didn't cause any deformation that I could tell just got aluminum stuck to it still cleanly slices through the receipt paper so call that a pass And then the edge hits. Still looks pretty good. Maybe some mild deformation there, but not much, if any. And all these knives are all, they've all been sharpened several times. They all are sharpened to roughly the same angle. They're all roughly a little over 20 thousandths behind the edge. They're all sharpened to the same grit, dropped on the same strops. So there should be no advantage for any of the steels in terms of the uh, geometry or the finish of the edge. So they should all be pretty equal. Then the spot 27. More aluminum embedded, but I don't see any deformation. Still cleanly slicing the receipt paper, no chips. And then hitting the edge up against it, more of the same. More aluminum stuck to it, but I don't see any reflection, no, no real deformation. So it held up to that really well. Still cleanly slicing right there where we did it at. So moving on to the copper block. Back to S30V. Five cuts. And looks like it handled that pretty well. I think I got one little chip or felt a little microchip there but it wasn't big enough to stop it from slicing and then five hits up against the corner there and you can see that little chip down there at the bottom yeah my fingernails catching on that aluminum there but still slicing through the receipt paper where we did the copper. Now moving on to the 20 CV, same thing. Still cleanly slicing, I don't think it took any damage from that. Yeah, and I think the, the 20 CV held up to the copper really well. Still cleanly slicing the receipt paper, so good to go on that. And then it's by 27. Still cleanly slicing. I think it got a one light little nick there at the bottom from the hits so all three blades stabbing into the can 
and opening the can pretty much just killed the edge on all three of them and you'll be able to see like on the bug out here some reflection right there at the at the end of the blade mild deformation nothing major and then here's where it gets serious and take some chunks out of the edge with the corner of this can You can see the chips there. And there's the aluminum. And I'm starting to get, you know, a lot more hang ups with the S30V and <clears throat> I think a lot of it is just aluminum stuck to it but can't be sure and then the tip stabs there on the 20CV it was either that or opening the can here caused a, a light little microchip at the very end of the edge right next to the tip you can see it there but very similar to what happened to the S30V and then more can hits and you know I haven't found a steel yet that could handle this can hitting it up against the edge of the can without taking some sort of damage some steels do better than others but all th all three of these did relatively similar more stabs with the spy 27 looks like it's there's Less damage there so far. And then opening the can, let's see the uh, the deformation at the, the end of the blade now in comparison to the other two. Seems slightly better. And then more hits on the can. And took a pretty good chip there. Now I will say that I think I've sharpened these other two blades more than the Spy 27. So that could have something to do with it taking a bigger chip there or it could be due to like uh, Laren said on his report of the steel the testing that he did had some large carbide clusters in the matrix so that could have something to do with it I'm not sure but it did seem to take a little bit larger chip than the other two or you know possibly it could have just been me uh, maybe I hit it harder than the other two I'm not sure but uh Either way, it seemed to take a larger chip than the other two blades did. And then edge scrapes up against the copper pretty much rolled every edge in a very similar manner. I think S30V it rolled the worst. And then the 20CV and Spy 27 were both about the same. So wrapping everything up here, looking at all three edges up close. Um, the results are very similar of all three of them. Let's see, the 20CV took some microchips at the very end of the blade towards the tip. I think it held up to the aluminum pretty well and the copper pretty well. Uh, took some chips from the can and, you know, held up to the wire better than anything else. The S30V took some good chips from the can, took some deformation from the copper and maybe some from the aluminum as well. And some microchips at the very end towards the tip there. 
and definitely caught on the receipt paper from the wire. So I would say the S30V did worse overall than anything else, which is probably to be expected. And then Spy 27 took more damage from the can than the other two. So that's worrisome a little bit, but you know, that could be an anomaly. Everything else it held up pre pretty well too. Took some damage from the wire, um, but other than that, it, it held up pretty well. So, you know, I would either say it's a tie with 20 CV or it's the winner, um, aside from the chips from the can being a little more significant than the other two.